Oke, okay, bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillahirrabbilalamin. Wassalatu wassalamu ala asrafil anbiya iwar mursalin. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in amma ba'du. Insyaallah in this good occasion, we are from group one, will be presented a language assessment uh, about testing the make make the good testing the good test but before that uh, i will introduce my group first here i'm in si patihatul makia as a moderator and pre presenter too and the second one is lisa kotronada the third presenter and the last one is Muhammad Rizki Ramadan for the last presenter. Okay. We will move to explanation for this title is about making a good test. Okay, next slide. Okay, for the first presenter will be delivered by Muhammad Rizki Ramadan. Time is yours. Okay, <clears throat> uh, thank you, moderator, for uh, allowing me to present the material today. So uh, the first material is about testing writing. Let's move to the material. So, uh, in testing writing, uh, there are some consideration we should uh, consider in uh, make in which uh, making a good writing test. Uh, there are three points uh, we should consider, including uh, we have to set writing tasks that are properly representative of the population of task. Uh, that we should expect the students to be able to perform. Uh, and then uh, the second one is the task should elicit samples of writing which truly uh, represent the student's ability. And the third one is it is essential that the samples of writing can and will be scored reliably. Okay, next. Uh, in... Uh, in making a good writing test, uh, there are a uh, setting of the task, uh, including the operation and how the text types and addresses and the topics of uh, the writing test itself. So the, the operation, uh, including uh, how uh, the test uh, would be uh what uh yang diharapkan dari uh dari from the learners to perform the first is for example like expression of thanks expression of requirements opinion comment uh, attitude confirmation apology want or need or inf information and then for the other is eliciting information, a direction, service, and all areas above. And for uh, the text types, it could be in the form, uh, in the form of letter. Uh, for the type is announcement, and then a postcard, in type of description, uh, and note in in the type of narration and forms in a type of comment. <clears throat> and uh, for the addresses, it is uh, unspecified except as under topics below. So the topics, uh, for example, uh, like social interaction with native and non-native speakers of English, uh, and then dealing with official and semi-official bodies, shopping and using services, 
uh, visiting places of interest and entertainment, traveling and arranging for travel, using media for information and ent entertainment, medical attention and health, uh, studying for academic or occupational or social purposes. And for, uh, we are definitely uh, should have uh, how to score uh, the test itself. So there are some rubric in, uh, in this uh, to score the writing of the learners. So the first is uh, about grammar. So it's range from one to six. Uh, the six is the highest uh, score. So in six, a few if any noticeable errors of grammar or word order. And for five, the point five, uh, some errors of grammar or word other which do not, however, interfere with comprehension. And then for four, uh, errors of grammar or word order fairly frequent, occasional rereading necessary for full comprehension. And for uh, three score, errors of grammar or word order frequent, uh, it is net needs efforts to interpretation, sometimes required on reader's part. And then for uh, to score, errors of grammar of or word order very frequent. Uh, reader often has to rely on on interpretation. And for one uh, score, uh, errors of grammar or word order so severe as to make comprehension virtually impossible. And so uh, there are also rubric for vocabulary. And then for mechanics, uh, how the text is written or the structure of the text. And then fluency or style of ease of communication. And then the form or organization of the text. text. <clears throat> and, and how to... Uh, to add the uh, score is grammar, vocabulary, uh, mechanic, and, and form. Uh, it, it is, uh, will be, it will be uh, the score of writing skills. And next, we move to the next material about testing or or uh, ability or uh, in this case is speaking so uh, in this test uh, we should have a setting of the task for the first uh, we should specifying our appropriate task uh, the first is about content so in the content uh, there are some points. Uh, the first is operation, then text types, addresses, and topics, uh, and then criteria level of performance, accuracy, appropriacy, uh, range, flexibility, and size. So uh, operation uh, is uh, to take part in oral interaction, which may involve the following language functions. For example, like uh, expressing, uh, and then narrating, eliciting, directing, and so on. And for the test text types, uh, uh, it could be uh, dialogue and multi-participant interaction, normally of face-to-face uh, -face, uh, nature, but telephone conversation not excluded. Uh, and for addresses and topics, uh, it is not specified except as under topics for writing. Uh, and for a criteria level of performance, uh, the fact that particular grammatical structures are not specified as content and that uh, there is no reference uh, to vocabulary or pronunciation, 
uh, doesn't of course uh, mean that there that there are no requirements with respect to these uh, elements of our performance. This would be dealt with uh, separately as part of a set statement of criteria levels, uh, thus for the RSA test at intermediate level. And for the accuracy, pronunciation still obviously influenced by L1, uh, though clearly uh, intelligible. Grammatical or lexical accuracy is generally high, uh, uh, though some errors which do not uh, destroy communication are acceptable. And then for the range, uh, a fair range of language is available to the candidate. Uh, he is able to express himself uh, without overly having to search for words. And then for flexibility, uh, is able to take the initiative in a conversation and to adapt uh, to new uh, topics or changes of direction, uh, though neither of these may be constant, consistently uh, manifested. And for the size, uh, most contribution may be short, but some evidence of ability to produce more complex patterns and to develop uh, this into discourse should be manifested. Uh, and for the technique uh, we use in uh, testing oral ability, it is uh, it is a uh, For uh, the elicitation technique, uh, the first is questions and requests for information, uh, and then uh, like describing pictures, uh, role playing, interpreting, tap recorded st stimuli, uh, stimuli and uh, imitation. For and that uh, there are also technique technique uh, that are not uh, recommended, uh, including prepared monologue and then uh, reading aloud. And then uh, next is uh, how to uh, score uh, oral ability. So in this uh, in this slide we we have a waiting table to uh, to score overall oral ability of the students and then uh, that's all for me uh, thank you uh, I give back to the majority. Okay, thank you for your explanation to Muhammad Rizki Ramadan. And for the next material will be explained by myself. So I will explain about testing reading. Next slide. Okay, before that, uh, I will explain a little simple point about testing reading. Uh, there was a time when it was taken for granted, at least in some circles, that it was more difficult to construct a reliable and valid test of writing and speaking than of reading and listening. And there is a two point of testing reading, the first one is specifying what the candidate should be able to do. Uh, from that, there is some point also. The first one is about content. 
there is operations from operations this may be at different levels of analysis and from operations there is two type is a uh, macro skills and the next one is micro skills macro skills uh, there is some uh, i mean some point also uh, for the first one is scanning text to locate specific information and then skimming text to obtain the gist and then ident identifying stages of an argument and the last one is ident identifying examples presented in support of an argument and for the next one is micro skills from micro skills also there is identifying reference of pronouns and then using context to guess meaning of unfamiliar vocabs or words and then understanding relations between parts of text by recognizing indicators in discourse especially for the introduction development transition and conclusion of ideas but uh Uh, only at the level of what are referred to above as micro skills do we reach the point where we find serious candidates for inclusion in a reading test. For the next one is there is the second one is setting criteria levels of performance, setting criteria levels for receptive skills in more problematical. Oh, I'm sorry for, for the next one is type types of text. This types of the of the text uh, include like textbook novel and then newspaper also and as you know academic journal and then poem and timetable is include to of types of text and then the sec the third one is addresses this will uh, obviously be related to text type and it may not be necessary to specify further i mean for example we know the the intended audience for quality newspaper but textbook for instance could be for school children or university students and for the last one is topic and for a topic, it may often be appropriate to indicate the range of topics is in only very general terms. And then for the next uh, point is about setting criteria levels of performance settings criteria levels for receptive skills is more prob problematical. Uh, before that, uh, I'm so I'm so sorry because the uh, point not show tidak tertampilkan semua. And for this for the point for the point of the testing reading, the second one is setting in the task. From the set, setting in the task, there is uh, some point also, I mean, just to, but the first one is lighting text. Uh, successful choice 
of text depends uh, ultimately on experience, in judgment, and a certain amount of common sense. Now, while the points may, uh, may seem rather ob uh, obvious, they are often overlooked. For the second one is writing items. Now, from the writing items, there is a six type for, from of that. The first point is possible techniques. From uh, possible techniques, there is many techniques or a possible solution on this problem. Is about the first one, uh, multiple choice. As we know, uh, the candidate provides evidence of successful reading by making a mark against one out of a number uh, of alternatives. Uh, for the second one is unique answer. Now here the uh, there is only one possible correct response. This might be a single word or number or some things likely longer, for example, China and Japan and the item on the table. For the third one is, is short answer. When unique answer items are not possible, uh, nah, short answer items may be used like that. For the fourth for, uh, point, guided short answer. The danger with short answer question is, of course, the one referred to above. Uh, a student who has the answer in his or her had after reading the relevant relevant part of the passage may not be able to express it well. Yeah, I mean, consider the question like, what changes have taken place in the in the attitudes of many European universities to different varieties of English? And for the last point of possible techniques is summary close. A reading passage is summarized by the tester and then gaps are left, are left in the summary for completion, completion by, the, by the candidates. For the second one of writing items is possible with gaps of candidate to, to complete. Uh, from that, uh, just one point is about information transfer. One way of minimizing demands on candidates' writing ability is to require them to show successful completion of a reading task by supplying simple information in a table. And for the third one of writing items is techniques for particular purposes. Uh, for that, there is three points. Id identifying order of events, topics, or arguments. Now, from that, the candidate can be required to number the events uh, as follows in an example taken from the R RSA. And the second one is identifying reference, like one of the micro skills listed above was the ability to identify refer reference. An example of an item to test this based on the original passage about smoking, like that. And for the last point of techniques, for particular purposes is guessing the meaning of unfamiliar words from context. This is another of the micro, micro skills mentioned above. And then for the uh, fourth point of writing item is which language for items and responses. 
the the wording of reading test items is not me meant to cause candidates any difficulties of comprehension. It should always be well within their capabilities, less demanding than the text itself. For the fifth point of writing items is procedures for writing items. Uh, the starting point for writing items is a careful reading of the text, having the specified operation in, in mind. And the last one is practi practical advice on item writing. Uh, from that, uh, there is three points in a scanning test and uh, do not write items for which the correct response can be found without understanding the text. And for the last one is do not include items that some candidates are likely to be able to answer with without reading the text like that. And for the next slide. For next slide, a la slide is about testing listening. For testing listening, uh, it may seem rather odd to rest listening spiritually from speaking since the two skills are typically exercised together in oral interaction. Uh, the special problems in constructing listening tests arise out of the nature of the spoken language. And the listeners cannot uh, easily move backwards and forwards over what is being said in the way that they can uh, uh, write the text. There is two type of testing listening. For the first one is specifying what the candidate should be able to do. Now, the same with testing reading also, there is some point, the first one is content. And from the content, there is for type, uh, I mean point, the first one is operations. Uh, I said before, as with reading, this may be at more than one level of analysis. There is macro skills, but this is for listening. Macro skills uh, include uh, listening for specific information and then obtaining use of what is being said, following directions, and then following instructions also. For the micro skills might include interpretation and recognition of function of structures. For the second point of content is about types of text. Uh, this might be first specified uh, as monologue, dialogue, or multi participants, and further spy, uh, specified like announcement, talk, or lecture, instructions, and then directions. For the third one is addresses. Of text may be intended for the general public also. Students uh, for like either specialist or general generalist, uh, young children and so on. For the last one is about topic. For the topic, uh, this will often be indicated in quite general terms. And then the second point of specifying, specifying what the candidate should be able to do is about setting criteria levels of performance. If the test is set an set appropriate level, then as with reading, a near perfect set of responses uh, may be required for a pass. For the second point of testing listening is about test, uh, setting the task. Setting the task uh, included two points. The first one is selecting samples of speech. 
for, for this point, passage uh, must be chosen uh, with the test specification in mind. If we are interested in how candidates can hope with language intended for native speakers, then ideally, 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 we should use samples of authentic speech. For the in fact, uh, this can usually be readily found with a little effort. Uh, for the second one is uh, writing items. And for extended listening also, there is writing uh, items. For the first, I mean, uh, the, uh, here just one point is about possible techniques. And I have I have explained before also same possible techniques of testing listening is about uh, the first one is about multiple choice. But in for the testing listening multiple choice, the advantages and this disadvantages of using multiple choice in extended listening tests are similar to those identified for reading tests in the previous chapter. For the second one is short answer. Provided uh, that the, the items themselves are brief and only really short responses are called, called for short answer items can work well in listening tests. And for the for the next information transfer, uh, for this uh, technique is as useful in testing listening as it is in testing reading since it makes minimal demands on productive skills. For the next note taking, for note taking where our ability to take uh, some notes while listening to or say a lecture is in question, this activity can be quite real, realist, realistically replicated in the testing situation. And then uh, there is partial dictation. While parti partial dictation may not be a particularly authentic listening activity. And then for the next recordings or live presentations, the great advantage of using recordings when administering a listening test is that there, uh, there is uniformity in what is presented to the, to the candidates. And then for the last one is scoring uh, the listening test. Uh, of course, it is probably worth mentioning again then in scoring a test of a respect, receptive skill, there is no reason to deduct points or for errors of grammar or spelling, provided that is clear that the correct response was intended. Maybe just enough from my explanation. Uh, for the last presenter, and I will give for Lisa Kotronada for the last presenters. Time is time's yours. Okay. Um... Thank you. I will explain about testing grammar and vocabulary. Next slide. So testing grammar is, what is testing grammar? Testing grammar is the process of checking and assessing someone's understanding and use the, of the grammatical Rules of a language is often done through various exercises or tests that prefer the person 
to use or ident identify correct grammar. Uh, for example, they might need to choose the right first, uh, right sentence, correct sentence, or fill in the Okay. Okay. Um, I will explain about testing grammar and vocabulary. So, testing grammar is the process of checking and assessing someone's understanding and use using someone using grammatic of the grammatical rules of language. Is often done through various exercise or tests that require the person to use or identify correct grammar. So, for example, is the mic need to choose the right verb tense, correct a sentence, or fill fill in the blank with the right form of a word. It's common part of language learning and can help people improve their writing and speaking skill. The and the following uh, are some of the most common types of objective item used to test awareness of the grammatical future future of the language. Uh, is a uh, multiple is uh, there is multiple choice item complete complete completion item transformation items and firing and matching item it should always be remembered that such item as the above test the ability to recall Record, recognize, recognize, or produce correct form of language rather than the ability to use language to express meaning, attitude, emotion, and extrovert. And it's never and never tells it's uh it is essential essence essential that student master the grammatical uh, system of the language they 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 are learning next slide so this there are type of objective item with the test awareness of the grammatical future of the language. The first is uh, there is multiple choice grammar item. So the type of multi multiple choice item preferred by many constructor of grammar test is the incomplete statement statement type with a choice of four or five option. This item might be, uh, might be written in any of the following ways. Why? Not that this uh, this director should generally be correct, but in written and in speech, the following item, perfect and successful and success and successful when it was included in a test because because. Many of the more more able students select option B, but <clears throat> the reason being being that they pronounce uh, used the to quite correctly as used to as used to just uh, for example I then uh, blah 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 to go to my uncle's farm every every weekend. Uh, the A is M, M used, uh, B used, C was used, D used. 
and the second is completion items. Uh, so carefully construct complete carefully construct complete completion item are a useful means of testing a student ability to produce uh, acceptable and appropriate appropriate forms of language. They are frequently prefer, prefer, preferable to multiple choice items since um, they measure they me, they measure pro, production rather than recognition testing the ability to insert the most appropriate words in select a blank in sentence. For the example, <coughs> uh, for the example, like, um, put, uh, put a, uh, the, Put a, the, or someone in each blank only where necessary. If you think that no word should be placed in the blank, put across a, like X guinea. There, uh, the question is can you see, can you see blah, 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 sun, sun shining through the clouds? Yeah. Terus, for the next, uh, the third is transformation item. So the transformation item of, so the transformation type of item is extremely useful for testing ability to pro produce stru structures in the target language and helps to provide uh, a blanch when include in test containing multiple choice item. So it is the own objective item type uh, which comes close close to measuring. So measuring some of the skill test in compress in composition writing, author transforming sentence is different from producing sentence. For uh, the example, is like is like uh, the question. It was impossible to work under this condition. Uh, di bawahnya itu kayak kelanjutannya lagi working blah 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 blah. Nanti tinggal dilanjutin gitu. Terus, the, the last is firing and matching items. Uh, this type of item usually consists of sh a short conversation uh, stimulus, stimulus in the form of statement or question, follow, or question follow, followed by a response often in the form of statement it it is used uh, to test the the ability to select appro appropriate um, response response to stimulate which would be present be presented orally in normally everyday situation. So, so the item is more useful, useful for testing students' sens sensitivity to appropriacy and their awareness of the functions of language rather than their knowledge of grammar. So for the example, like column one uh, for the question and column two for the uh, IBCD like that for the answer and uh, it 
it should be remembered uh, of course that this is not all authentic discourse however all the language and situation here are inevitable artificial 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 the item does serve to help students to associate the language they are learn they are learning with real life situation uh I'll, I'll make to limit to limit extent and the next slide uh and the next one is testing vocabulary so Testing vocabulary is a method used to evaluate person knowledge and understanding of words in particular particular language. This can involve understanding the meaning of words. There is you know, uh, there is synonym and antonym. There is uh, their use in context and their spelling. Uh, so, uh, for a good vocabulary testing, test should be compre comprehensive and blend. Here are here are few types to make a good test in assessment. The first is uh this uh, the the first question. It include a uh, very very of question types such as multiple choice, fill in the blank, matching, and true or false. This can test different aspects of vocabulary knowledge. The second is contextual use. Uh, use word in context. This means using sentence or paragraph rather than um, isolated words which uh, can help test understanding of how words are used in real life situation. So this, the third is life level appropriate. The test shall be appropriate for the person language prof proficiency level. It should, uh, shouldn't be too easy or too hard. So the fourth is clear instruction. Is uh, make sure the instruction for each section or question are clearly and easy to understand for the student. And the last is feedback. So provide the, uh, the feedback on the test result to help the person understand their strength and areas for improvement for improvement for uh, the student so uh, remember the goal uh, the goal of vocabulary testing is not just to memorize words but to understanding and use use them effectively the next slide please the next slide uh, is about testing administration. Testing administration according I reason, test administration is concerned with the physical and psychological setting in which student takes the test uh, who the student to their, their base. So, the administration refers to process of organizing, organizing, and conducting a test. It involves everything from planning the test, setting the rule, delivering the test to the test taker, and then scoring the test and providing feedback. Next slide. So these two administ to administer a good test, here are some key points to consider. The 
uh, the key the kai is the kai to success successful test administration is a careful careful advance for preparation so uh, the first is there is planning clearly define what the, the test is in fight intended to me measure so this could be knowledge the this could be knowledge skills aptitude and expert uh, the test question should be designed designed to accurately accurately assess these areas the second is uh, clarity clarity is this is the instruction for the test should be clear and easy to understand for the student test actor test actor should know exercise what they they need to do the third is fairness um the test should be fair to all test taker this mean it should be free from bias and discrimination and all test takers should have an equal equal opportunity to prepare for and take the test the fourth is environment the test should be administered in quite comfortable environment environment that free from distraction this helps the test taker cons, cons, uh, cons, concentrate and perform their best uh, the five is timing ensure the test is timed appropriately test taker should uh, have enough time um, to complete the test but not so much uh, that the test become too easy the last is scoring and feedback the scoring process should be transparent and consistent uh, after the test provide uh, feedback to the test takers about their performance and area areas for environment so remember the goal of the test administration is to provide a fair and effective way to measure the test taker abilities or knowledge to student. I think that's enough for me. Uh, back, back to moderator. Okay, thank you for your explanation. Lisa Katronada and Mama Rizky Ramadan. Uh, now, our mat material is have finished. And now, next to questions, but for the questions, uh, in, I mean, on WhatsApp, WhatsApp group, yes. So, I will close the session and our explanation of this material. And for the group one, enough. Thank you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.